AMS 2140 Route Mode Function Keys In this tutorial, we will review the keys used to operate the AMS 2140 in Route Mode. As we review these options, you'll note a visual reference to the CSI 2140. Please be aware that this product has been rebranded as AMS. Here you see the home screen of the AMS 2140. To start route mode, select F8 Route. Notice the Alt 2 button in this corner. That indicates that there are two pages of function keys available that you can toggle between. In this tutorial, we will cover all the keys on both screens starting with Alt 1. But before we get started, let's take a closer look at this first screen. In route mode, the first information you see here is the point number. In this example, the point number is 7, meaning that in this route, we are at point number 7. VP1 is the ID code of the machine, and here you can see the description of the machine. MIH is the ID code of the measurement point, and here below the machine description, you see the description of the measurement point, or motor inboard horizontal. Here you see the overall value of the collected data, and below that, the overall value of the previous measurement. Status tells you if an alarm level has been triggered. Below the status, you are looking at the waveform and spectrum of the collected data. Now let's review the function keys, starting with F1 and F7, which allow you to navigate to the previous or the next measurement point. F2 and F8 have very similar functionality, but allow you to navigate at the machine level versus the measurement point. F3 Equipment List offers an overview of the route. In this example, the route consists of 70 points across five machines, and seven points have already been measured, indicated by the check marks in the measurement points list. If all points on a machine are already measured, you will see a check mark in front of the machine. F8 and F9 allow you to navigate between machines, while F11 and F12 navigate between points. Here I've selected Machine 4, or Vacuum Pump 4, and the point PIV, or Pump Inboard Vertical. If I now select F4, my screen will navigate directly inside the route to this point, taking me to point number 50. Let's go back to point 7 to continue the tutorial. F9 Start Acquisition and the Enter button on the Analyzer will both start data collection. In the software, you can pre-configure groups of commonly used notes, which are then accessible from F4. F1 and F7 allows you to toggle between the groups of notes. F8 and F9 navigates between the notes and F3 lets you add the highlighted note to the measurement point. Later, when collected data is downloaded in the software, the notes will also transfer. You can add several predefined notes quickly this way. But if you find you need to make a note that isn't in the list, you can add your own note in the field using F2, User Defined Notes. Select F1 to add a note up to 32 characters. F10 Field Alert allows you to flag measurements from the field for priority back in the office. For example, if you have 50 machines on your route and 10 measurement points per machine, you'll be collecting 500 points. But if you notice a significant problem on one machine that requires immediate attention, add a field alert. Back in the office when the data is downloaded to the software, the analyst can filter data for field alerts and analyze that data first. F5 Plot Data will reveal the spectrum and waveform. There is a dedicated tutorial for this functionality when analyzing data on the analyzer. F11 View Parameters will display a list of all the narrow bands you have measured, along with their values and indication of alarm status. F12 Run Analyze takes you into the Analyze application where you can collect additional data with different settings such as increased resolution of a different FMAX. More details are available in a separate tutorial. Now let's move to the function keys on the Alt 2 screen. F1 User Setup is where you configure what you want to see on the Analyzer screen, both during and after data collection. 
Here, F2 allows you to determine what data will be displayed in the bottom half of the screen, following collection on a measurement point. Let's take a look at what this looks like. If I select None from the menu, nothing is displayed on the screen. If I select Parameters, I see a list of the narrow bands and their alarms. I can select Bar Graphs Labeled or Bar Graphs Without Labels. I can select Spectrum, Waveform, or Dual to display both the Spectrum and Waveform. F3 Point Advanced Mode sets the length of time the data will be displayed before automatically jumping to the next point. It is currently set to 1 second, but if I change it to 4 seconds, we'll have more time to see the data before moving on. If you set the Advanced Mode to 0, you disable Auto Advance and will have to manually advance to the next data point. F4 sets the number of high-frequency domain averages collected. When high-frequency energy is involved, you will want to collect more averages. 25 averages can be collected very quickly with the AMS2140. F5 Data Storage offers three options. First, you can overwrite data you have already collected and stored. Second, you can have the analyzer query you whether to overwrite or add to stored data. Third, you can save all data you have collected. If you have already collected data on the measurement point, you would be adding new data to that. 67% for overlapping averages is typical, but you can change that using F6. F8 Select Live Display is where you can select the data you want to see during collection. Toggle between Status, Spectrum, Waveform, or Dual. So what is the difference between F2 and F8? F2 defines the data you will see after collection, while F8 defines what you will see during collection. Overall measurements can be measured a few different ways. F9 allows you to choose between analog, digital, true peak, and average peak. Refer to technical documentation to determine which mode is right for your application. F10 Set Integration Mode toggles between time domain and frequency domain. Under User Preferences, there are more function keys available on the Alt-2 page. Here you see F2 multi-channel groups are enabled, meaning you will allow for simultaneous data collection on up to four channels of data. When disabled, the data will not be collected simultaneously. F3 Group Status Timer is set to zero seconds. This means that you will not see a summary screen after a group point measurement. If, for example, you set that to 5 seconds, you would see a summary screen of the group points for 5 seconds after collection. F5 allows you to enable or disable warning alarms. Back on the screen, you can use F2 to specify or override the sensitivity of your sensors. F3 add the note out of services to the database if the machine is not operational and data cannot be collected. Use F5 Tack Setup to configure your tachometer. There is a separate tutorial for this functionality. F6 specifies a new RPM for your measurement point, and there is also a separate tutorial for this as well. F7 allows you to exit the route. F8 deletes the data shown here. F9 takes you to Route Management, where you can connect the analyzer to your PC to load a route or dump data. If you have multiple routes loaded here, which we do not, you can switch between them. When you select F10 View Trend History, you will see a trend plot that can include up to the last 24 measurements taken. F2 and F8 allow you to toggle between the narrow bands. This is a very powerful analysis tool. Let's say that on a certain point you noted a very high value. It may be useful in the field to know if this value is new or if the value has been high for a while. Knowing this could impact what you do next. F7 Print Plot will send the information you see on the screen as an image file to your computer. F12 More Point Info displays detailed information about a point configuration. For example, on this point, we are collecting a spectrum of up to 60 orders with 1600 lines of resolution. This concludes our tutorial.
Please continue watching to select from other recommended tutorials or visit the AMS Reliability Channel for the AMS 2140 playlist. Additional product information can be found at emerson.com slash AMS 2140. Thank you for watching. Thank you.